Alright you guys, so I've never filmed a video like this before. Um, I thought it would be fun to do like a current favorites video, not necessarily like a monthly favorites because it's February 16th right now. Um, but, you know, I just figured it would be cool for you guys to see some of the things that I've been liking lately. Um, and the first thing is the sweatshirt. This is like... This is one of my favorite sweatshirts. It's like Sherpa, it's from Victoria's Secret, obviously. You see the pink right here. Um, I posted a picture of this long, brown, furry Sherpa jacket that literally goes down to like your ankles. I posted that and my cousin saw it and then she bought me this for Christmas and I love it. I might end up taking it off because I'm really hot right now, but I love this. Very warm, very cute, very comfy. So, um, I don't know how many products I have or just things. Some of it's makeup, some of it's not makeup. I'm just going to get right into it. Let me get into the product. So the first thing I actually got from Marshall TJ Maxx, it's this little headband and it's meant to be like a spy headband. So like if you're doing a face mask or washing your face or something, you just pop this on and it keeps your hair out of your face. And I dropped it. Really love this. I'm pretty sure it's like three or four dollars around. It was really cheap. It's just velvety. Um, I want to get more because I have a problem, and I would honestly probably wear these out if my hair is looking a little rough that day. So, super cute. I don't have a ton of products here for my hair just because I want to do a separate curly hair video on products and products that work for me and stuff. So I just have two here right now. Um, super simple. Uh, if you guys are interested in that video, let me know. If you guys aren't, then I won't make it, but I think you guys will like that video. So, the first product I have here is the Reasons Curls Curl Defining Cream, and they sent me a little travel size of it. I love this stuff. It's so good. It smells like vanilla E and there's coconut in it and aloe and it's really good for your hair. Honestly, one of my favorite curl creams right now. Um, and then the second product, this is the Jane Carter Solution Curls to Go Untangle Me Weightless Leave-In. It's just a very light leave-in, but it has a lot of moisture in it because my hair, again, is thinner. So this helps me out with that. I got this also from... This is from TJ Maxx as well. Another organic product. Yeah. Um, it's getting oil all over me because I leaked it all over the place before. But this is the Heritage Store Lavender Oragolo Body and Massage Oil. I love this. They have a few different scents. I have the one in lavender. They have, they have a couple of them. I can't remember them right now. You guys can check them out on Amazon. That, but I love that. I use that for my whole body. It gives me a nice glow. It's very moisturizing. There's so many good oils in here, and yeah, if you guys are looking for a new body oil, it's not sticky or anything, it sinks into your print, it sinks into your skin pretty fast, it's really nice. For makeup products and stuff I've been loving lately, um, I'm going to start out with the uh, First Aid Beauty Skin Tint, you guys have seen me talk about these in a couple previous videos. Um, these are originally, I believe, $34 or $36, um, I'll put it somewhere over here. These are the um, Triple Protection Skin Tint with Goji Berry, and they are SPF 30, and they're good for sensitive skin. Um, and I have the color Tan, and I have the color Light. They're very sheer. I think they only have five colors, and I believe Tan is the darkest. And Tan is like my summer to like darker skin days, so shades are terrible, but um, maybe they'll expand. I don't know. Skin tints are pretty forgiving, but I also don't have deep skin to know how the tan would work on deep skin, so I can't say, but... If you guys follow me on my Instagram, you've seen this palette on my Instagram a little, a little bit. Um, I'll keep my links over here if you guys are interested in following me. But this is the Ace Beauty Grandiose palette. The packaging is so pretty. And the colors in it are stunning. It doesn't have a mirror, which I know is a drawback for some people. I don't mind because I use a huge mirror anyway. But it has a lot of beautiful colors in it. Um, the next palettes I have here are from Pixie. These are the um, Eye Reflection shadow palettes and I have them in natural beauty and reflect reflex light. I think those are the these are the only two they have. They did send these to me. This isn't sponsored or anything. Um, I'm just on their PR list and they send me these. This one has a few mattes in it. Um, I will say the mattes are very sheer. My swatch them look very sheer, but swatches on everything so you guys the metallics in here are so beautiful. Alright now let me move on to some highlighters because this is my favorite part of everything. This is the Pretty Vulgar Highlighter in um, Sparkling Sass, I think. It's a Shimmer and Swan, and then it says 127 Sparkling Sass, so I'm not positive. But 
Well, I got this in my BoxyCharm box and I was like, this is going to be too dark for me. Um, on the camera it doesn't look like it. On camera it looks not at all what the real color is. But it's almost like a bronzy gold. Um, and I was like, this is going to be too dark. It's going to leave like that cast. But it doesn't. It's so beautiful. It goes on natural. You can definitely build it up, but I have it on right now. Um, and it's beautiful. It goes on really pretty and gold. Um, it's really nice. My sister bought me this, and I used this, I believe, in my last video. Oh, no, I used this in my Valentine's video. And she was so mad at me because I forgot to mention that she bought it for me. And I think I said it and I edited it out or something because I was trying to save time, and she was not very happy with me. But this is the Ofra Midi, Midi Palette in Spice Velvet. And the colors in here are Star Island, Bali, and Blissful. If you guys have never had an Ofra highlighter, they're so beautiful. I mean, it has the typical Ofra-like pan. I don't even know what kind of shape this is, but they're beautiful. Um, this is Star Island, this one is Bali, and this one is Blissful. They're all so stunning. And the last face product is the, I've talked about this in my last two videos as well, but this is the Anastasia Liquid Glow in Peach Fizz. This goes on so beautifully. It makes you look like you're glistening. It looks like, it's very natural. It can be applied very natural and look just like, like a glow. I can't even explain it. So like you're glowing within or you can pop it on and make it look like a sweaty, wet highlight, which is so beautiful. So I'm getting real fancy now, and I have a few lip products. I love stuff on my lips. I love lip balm. I love... I don't love lip gloss unless it's, like, clear and just giving me moisture. Um, I bought this yesterday or the day before. I don't remember. And I've already used it, like, a hundred times. This is the Burst Bees Hydrating Lip Oil, and this one is in... This is just a sweet almond one. I was gonna get the passion fruit one, but they were all out of stock, so I'll get that one next time. Smells like almond oil. It smells really good, and it's so glossy and so moisturizing. Like, I just, it's glossy, and it's got almond oil in it, which is super good for your lips, and it's just so good. Um, and then the, ne the next one I have here, this is the Essence Shine, Shine, Shine and Wet Look Lip Gloss. This is just a clear one. I think they have a few colors, but... I, again, am not a colored gloss person. It's got a really cute little, like, teardrop applicator. And I love this. This is good for, if you guys do, like, glossy lids or anything, if you're fancy like that. If you just like gloss, it's, like, I believe it's $2, maybe 3 but really affordable, really good. So I changed my hair for the 10th time because it's, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what's happening, okay? It keeps falling out of the bun. I look like a crazy person. My current favorite like clothing obsession, typically, if you see me, I'm in leggings, a sweatshirt, slash t-shirt, and in a robe, if I'm in my home. I love my robes. I have way too many of them. I have one on the couch right here with my sweatshirt. What am I doing? I don't know. It's fine. The other thing I wear, if you see me out, um, if I'm trying to look fancy, if I'm going to church, or... Sometimes, even if I'm just going out, you know, if I'm running errands and I just want to throw something cute and quick on, I love jumpsuits. Stuck. Hold on. I love jumpsuits. This one is a shorter one. Not like super short, like it's not shorts, but it's like a little bit higher than ankle and it's just so cute. Got this one from TJ Maxx as well. Um, if you didn't realize, it's kind of where I shop. I'm at TJ Maxx and Marshalls all the time. And then I also have this one. And you guys might have seen me wear this one before. My Instagram. There's a fluff on it. This one reminds me of like just being a genie. Um, it's got spaghetti straps. And like it's a pretty high V. It's not super low. It has these little feet things. But I'm so short though that these don't actually work for me. For my feet. So yeah. Um, so typically I just tie them around my ankles. And I'll wear sandals or wear boots or something with them because my legs are too short so yeah I love this one I wear this one all the time too uh, yeah and I have a bunch of these these are just the first ones that I thought you guys would be interested in seeing and then this one I wore my mom's birthday I wore this one to church it's super cute and it's stripes which is fun um it's just this little bad boy love that the stripes go horizontal this way 
and vertical this way. I feel like it's just so fun. It's got a little tie thing and it makes me feel like I'm living in the 70s. Alright you guys, so it was a pretty simple video. Uh, I just thought it would be fun uh, to show you some of my current favorites. Uh, I do, again, I've said this four times, but I really want to film a video talking about some of my favorite and some of my not so favorite curly hair products, things that worked for me and things that didn't work for me. And I'm going to be posting a curly hair routine and or filming a curly hair routine and a um, kind of transformation slash transitioning slash curly hair journey, whatever one comes first, I don't know. Um, but I've never done one of these and I wanted to and hopefully you guys thought it was a little bit fun. I was kind of blabbering, which is what I do best. Uh, but yeah, if you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Um, yeah, I love you guys so, so, so much. And yeah, uh, I'll see you guys in the next week's video. Please subscribe and I love you.